Well, there is a new program in Spartanburg that's helping adults complete their degree. It's called Redegree. It made its debut earlier this year with more than 50 people already enrolled. And now they are celebrating their very first graduate. Our Taniqua Pinnix is joining us live in Spartanburg County with this story. Taniqua. Well, good afternoon all. One Spartanburg Inc. spearheaded this program and after speaking with their very first graduate, she's still in disbelief. I am the first three degree graduate from Converse University. Elated with the huge achievement she just accomplished. That's the first time I set it all together. It feels pretty great. It's exciting. Kimberly Anderson is now a proud graduate with a degree in studio art, a dream originally put on hold when she became a single mom. And I couldn't get financial aid for the class. I couldn't afford to pay out of pocket for that class. And so I really all this time I've been wondering, what am I going to do? Redegree was created to help those like Kimberly who started college but never finished. A representative from Redegree navigates students through the whole process and offer financial assistance, making it possible for them to get their degree. Dr. Erin Smith is absolutely amazing. I consider her a friend, a mentor. She is a cheerleader. She is everything. She has been there from day one to help me get the ball rolling and walk me through the process. Kimberly says her two daughters were her motivation and she wants to show them they can accomplish anything if they never give up. Oh, Taniqua, she is so encouraging, right, Kimberly? She's currently a special ed aide at Jesse Boyd Elementary and we hear she has some more goals that she wants to accomplish too. That's right, Jane. So she's not done with school yet. She's working on her master's and she's hoping by the time Jesse Boyd moves to their new location, she'll be done with her master's and she can have her own classroom as an art teacher. So we wish her well. Reporting live in Spartanburg, Taniqua Pinnix, WIFF News 4.